Yo, what's up guys? I just worked on a personal project and needed a cool looking background for this. So I just tried a little things and came up with this one. And I think this looks really cool. So I wanted to share it with you how to do this. And this is super simple. So yeah, I'd say let's just go right into it. So let's make a new composition and let's add a solid first of all. And just like this. And the first effect that we need is the four color gradient to give it some nice colors. So just apply this one and let's change the color. So the first one and the last one should be something like a light blue, for example. Just copy the X code and put it in the last one as well. And the both the middle ones should be a dark gray, just like this. This should look cool and maybe a bit darker, just like this. Now we also need a motion tile effect. And you won't see a big difference, first of all, but this will be quite important later. And turn up the output wideness to 300 and the output height also to 300. Not 30, but 300, just like this. And yeah, I think it's also important to actually move the motion tile effect above the color gradient. So make sure it's in this order. And now to get this yeah, nice twirl effect, we actually need the twirl effect. So just type in twirl in here and apply the effect and now we can turn up the angle to something quite high like 6 in here and we can also turn up the radius to something like yeah I think 70 looks good so now we have this really cool thing going on and yeah but we don't see it moving or anything at all so let's also animate this so we can just select the layer and press R on the keyboard for rotation and yeah put in a keyframe at the beginning and let's just rotate it two times till the end and yeah now we have this cool twirl effect which just endlessly rotates and yeah I think this already is super cool but as you can see in this example we also had a few other things going on so yeah let's make a new adjustment layer first of all and give it a mosaic effect just like this and let's turn up the values to something like 30 each should look really good just like this and let's also give it a uh, fine edges effect just like this and make sure to press the invert settings and maybe this looks good it uh, doesn't matter a lot but this looks really cool now we can just make sure to have the toggle switch mode in this mode so we can just press this button and make sure we are in this here and let's change the yeah the blend type to add and now we have this cool pixelated effect let's just press t4 opacity and bring the opacity down on this one to something like 30 maybe so it's not that strong 30 or 20 even if you think this is too much and yeah this looks really cool what else do we have in here we yeah, also have a noise effect. This is quite important as well. So let's actually for this one, let's make a, a new adjustment layer. So we just have it separated a bit and add a noise effect, actually the noise HLS effect and just bring up the, the lightness noise to maybe, let's try 10. Okay, 10 is too much, but it's maybe something like three. Yeah, I think three looks cool. And we already have this yeah, this looks quite nice, I think. But to top this all off, we can also add a glow effect, which will just make this whole thing way more vibrant. And I really like this one. So yeah, let's turn up the glow radius first of all, just like this, and maybe decrease the glow intensity a little bit to, yeah, actually what was okay in this example. And yeah, now we have this super cool twirly thing. You can just play around with a lot of these settings actually to whatever you like. I think a, high, a really high uh, radius is always good. So don't yeah go short on this one. But yeah, that's already it. Of course, you always have the option to play around with all of these values like the opacity in here. So this is completely up to you how you handle this. But I think this looks super cool. You can also, of course, change the colors. Maybe this is too too dark or too too light for your liking. Uh, oh, this looks actually way better. <laughs> Let's just give it a, a bit more saturation, a bit more 
darkness basically. I think the color before was too light. But yeah, I think this is a really cool result. Maybe the these um yeah this is too dark. So as you can see this is just fully up to you how you change all these little settings. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this one and yeah, see you next time.